Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make an inexpensive, um, hook up an inexpensive fan to your um, KL203P or similar amp um, to help it stay cool. And as we go over here on my workbench here, you can see I have a um, power supply here to like an old laptop or um, maybe something else. It's a 12 volt power supply. And we know that by, if we look on the bottom of it, we can see the output is 12 volts. And over here, we have a computer case fan and from an old computer I had. So I'm making this with um, parts I already have available at the house. If we go over here, you can see I have a box full of old computer parts, cords, chargers, and I always save them because you never know when um, they might come in handy. So that's where I got this 12 volt charger here. And I wanted to make sure I had one that was 12 volt. So uh, like I said, I went through the box and looked at the uh, output of all these and found one that was 12 volts. Because uh, as I said, this is from a, it's a computer case fan. And if you read the label on it, you can see that it's a 12 volt, 2.1 watt fan. And again, if we go over here, um, this is a 12 volt, three amp uh, power supply. So we know that will work. So what you're gonna do with your power supply here is you're gonna take the connector off of the end, which I have already done, and you're gonna strip the wires here. All right, we powered up, we plugged in the power supply here, and we have to figure on these uh, wires coming out of the power supply, which one's positive, which one's negative. So we have a voltmeter here, and we have a 50-50 shot of guessing correctly, and that is correct, we're 12.1. If we had the incorrect side, it would read as a negative number. So again, we're gonna test here and I'm going to mark the positive lead with a little blue piece of tape here. All right, so we know that's the positive wire. All right, our next step is to take our computer case fan and we're gonna to need to um, strip the wires back here. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead. We stripped it. Let's see if it's working. We've stripped the wires back here. We have the power supply on. Let's match up the positive with positive, negative with negative. And of course you can't see the fan here. Let me try positioning differently here. And you can see it works. Now, if I didn't have a tester, I'll show you what happens if you hook it up incorrectly. The fan is just not going to turn. So if you don't have a tester, don't worry about it. Um, you can just hook it up to the fan to figure out which is which. All right, so I joined the wires together. And uh, give me a second here. I'm going to uh, solder them together. And I have some heat shrink wrap here I'm gonna put over the wire. So give me a second and then I'll show it to you when I'm done. All right, and there we go with the shrink wrap and solder together. All right, one more thing I like to do before we plug it in is I bought I think I bought these on Amazon. They came in a three pack. They're pretty cheap. And they're plugs that you can turn on and off. And I chose this so I can turn the fan off and on when um, 
I'd like. When it gets hot, I'll turn it on, and when it's cool, I'll turn it off. All right, so we go ahead, turn the power on, fan comes on, uh, feeling the airflow coming off the heat sink. Um, got a lot of air coming off this. This little fan pulls quite a bit of cool air off the top. And so it works very well. I mainly use sideband, so I, I really don't generate a lot of heat off the amp. I've had it get warm, but never really super hot to the touch. But when it does get warm, I like to turn the fan on um, just to be safe. So there you have it. A quick and inexpensive way uh, to construct a uh, cooling fan for your amp. One other option you could do on this fan, if you didn't have a uh, power supply brick from an old laptop or Chromebook, you could always just wire the fan to your dedicated power supply to your radio. Only disadvantage you would have on that would be that it's on all the time. And um, I guess a work around that might be to put a little switch in, in the wire. But there you have it, a cheap and expensive way to cool down your amp. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.